Hello guys, welcome back to Halloween week with me Danny. Um, look number two, okay, so some of my costumes haven't arrived today, uh, so this is a bit of a change up, but today look number two is a really quick, simple and easy Halloween look. If you maybe get a last minute invitation, um, you just need to get the costume. The costume is kind of a lot of this, um, but this is really simple and easy to do makeup wise, so that's really good. Today for look number two for Halloween week, I am going to be doing uh, a Snow White look. Okay, so <laughs> it's quite easy if you're as pale as me and also have dark hair, um, but otherwise you just need a wig and you need to go much paler on your look. So primarily Snow White is all about beautiful alabaster, porcelain alabaster, flawless, flawless skin, okay, in the movie. Um, there's almost like an ethereal glow to her skin. She has that jet black hair, rosy blood red lips and a rosy flush to her cheeks. L very simple uh, eye makeup and long lashes and that's about it so that's what we're going to do today so same format as yesterday I'm going to do a get rid of me and show the products as I go and then we'll talk about it at the end okay so here it is look number two Snow White Okay, so what I've done there is I've used some Benefit High Beam um, just to give me that sort of iridescent uh, glow underneath my foundation. And I've used a bit of Stay Don't Stray from Benefit as my eye primer. And I've also used the Becca Backlight Priming Filter uh, Primer um, just to give me a real dewy, youthful, ethereal, eth ethereal glow. Concealer and base now. Okay, so foundation I've used L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, and that is in Ivory Rose, so a nice ivory colour. Um, I've used Bobbi Brown Corrector and Concealer in Extra Light Bisque and Ivory. And then I've popped the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Magic Loose Powder in Translucent on top to set that. Okay, so... I think I need a little bit of concealer. So I'm just going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer and that's in 1C Light Cool just to top that up. Bags under my eyes at the minute are just awful. There we go, that is better. Okay, so no contouring whatsoever. <laughs> she did not do contouring. So I'm going to use my ever favourite Pot Rouge from Bobbi and I'm going to use the Cheek Palette, uh, which is the Ulla Johnson collection and that is Cheek Palette in Esme and it is the Pink Flush Pot Rouge. So what I've done is just taken the pot rouge onto the cheeks, mostly onto the apples and I've just stippled it in and that's given us a lovely spring morning flush like she's cold which is what we want. On to blush, I'm going to be using the Estee Edit, the Barest Blush in Purr Pink number 3 just because it is a really super duper bright pink. I'm going to take that on a Bobbi Brown angled face brush. Now one thing about Snow White is she has a lot of blush so you're going to want to start on the cheeks, stipple it in, and then just kiss the skin really as you go. Okay, 
it's the one time you can really go to town with your blush which if you're like me you quite like next i'm going to highlight with some bobbi brown uh, pink glow highlighter so this is not unsimilar to the morticia makeup uh, however it's going to not it's going to change on the eye look really so i'm just going to pop the highlighter just on my cheeks Down the nose, under the eye. Just want that glow. I'm going to go back to the Ulla Johnson palette and use the highlighter, which is White Opal Cream Glow Highlighter. Always add a little bit more blush later. Okay, so I've gone in with, uh, first of all, my Gimme Brow in shade number five, and then I've used my new brow styler from Benefit, both from Benefit, uh, and uh, yeah, loving this so far. And it Okay, so I've used Steelers Eyes on the Window palette and I've used Kitten uh, under the brow bone and in the corner of the eye. On the lids, I've used Steelers uh, Glitter, is it Glitter and Glow? Shimmer and Glow in Kitten, liquid eyeshadow, just that's a pearlescent sort of creamy colour on the lid. Then I've used Naked palette 3 and I've used the uh, Stranger to go all over as a base. And then I used Nuna, which is a brownie grey just in the crease and then I put a little bit of burnout and buzz just on the top of the lid as well Okay, so I've just done a good eyeliner flick with uh, Steelers Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and I've used Bobbi Brown um, Perfectly Defined Gel Eyeliner in Pitch Black. So a very small line just under here, just to create definition and shape of the eye and then a good old eyeliner on top and flick. 
Okay, next eyes. So a little bit of mascara because I'm going to put lashes on. So I'm going to be using uh, Smoky Eye Mascara. <laughs> so, sorry about that guys, my uh, I'm going to edit out what they've just said, but my uh, my amazing brother and his lovely friend Anthony just arrived. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did Snow White have to part with it? So that's my lips done, basically it's the look finish, so I've used Lux Lip Colour in Parisian Red from Bobby and uh, Hollywood Red Lip Gloss from Bobby Brown as well. Mac Ruby Woo Lip Liner. Right, so that essentially is the look done. So I'm just going to spritz it and I'm ready to go. I'm going to go put on my costume. Yes, I know that. It doesn't fit. I think it would fit if you moved some of the pumpkins. No, I like it like Alright, too quiet for just one minute, please, and then I'm done, and then get changed and we'll go. Right, everybody, quiet for one minute, please. <laughs> okay, so there it is, guys. Look number two for Halloween week, and it is Snow White. I actually quite like this look, and makeup-wise, it was really easy to do, and you can probably do it with what you have in your own makeup kit. You don't have to go out and buy anything particularly special for it, so that's a bonus as well. This was about... £13 on Amazon, so for the adult Snow White costume, and I think the wig was about £3, so all in all it's not an expensive costume for a Halloween party. Uh, so I hope you really like this. The The main part of this look is a really pale foundation, the red rosy lips, um, strong eyebrows, neutral eyes, long lashes, and really really rosy cheeks, and of course the dark hair. Okay, so that's look number two, Snow White for Halloween week, and I've really enjoyed creating it for you, and tune back in tomorrow for look number three, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi guys, so I hope you've really enjoyed this look, and if you want to, you can follow me at Daniela underscore Logan underscore makeup over on my Instagram page, or on Twitter, Monty Logan MUA. Thanks for watching guys, and hello to all my new subscribers, and welcome to Halloween week. I'll see you later. Bye.